imagine a world of immense possibilities. Imagine life with robotics and comfort. Imagine a streamlined automated fabrication. Imagine an India with local solutions to global challenges. Our desires are enormous and to realize that, we need a vision that permeates to the grassroots and aligns each thread to weave our thousand dreams. TIFAC Technology Information Forecasting and Assessment Council TIFAC came into existence in 1988. Since then, it has played a pivotal role in the country's technology space through its information services and academia R&D industry interactions. This autonomous body is mandated to assess the state-of-the-art technologies and set directions for future technological development in India in important socio-economic sectors. TIFAC has played an important role in the country's technology space. Main purpose was to forecast technologies what India should develop to become globally competitive. What has been now predicted in the vision 2035 and what direction has been identified for the growth of technology in that document. It will take us to the level from where we can launch into the future technologies which are emerging today. The technology think tank TIFAC is synonymous to being the vision of Indian industry. Honorable PM released the Technology Vision 2035 document, prepared by TIFAC in the 103rd Indian Science Congress. The vision document foresees technology path needed to be traversed to achieve the goal for ensuring the security, enhancing prosperity and strengthening the identity of every Indian. The technology vision 2035 have been identified to address the sustainable development goals which can be taken up for uh, on priority and we identified for technology vision 2035 to be taken up further. In terms of population, key essential aspirations that have spawned focus include clean air and potable water, food and nutritional security, universal healthcare and public hygiene, 24-hour energy supply, decent habitat, quality education, safe and speedy mobility, public safety and national security, cultural diversity and vibrancy, transparent and effective governance, disaster and climate resilience and eco-friendly conservation of natural resources. The future is very uncertain. Nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. But basic art is in a technology foresight game how to uh, consider future uh, uncertainties into the, your uh, planning and try to map technologies which are in the horizon, even in the R&D, and how, man, how many of them will be useful to face those uncertainties. The document has identified 10 grand challenges which the nation would confront in the next 15 to 20 years, like guaranteeing nutritional security and eliminating female and child anemia, ensuring quantity and quality of water in all rivers and aquatic bodies, securing critical resources commensurate with the size of our country, provided learner-centric language, neutral and holistic education to all, understanding national climate patterns and adapting to them, making India non-fossil fuel based, taking the railway to Leh and Tawang, ensuring location and ability independence electoral and financial empowerment, developing commercially viable decentralized and distributed energy for all, ensuring universal eco-friendly waste management. TIFAC did not stop here. It took several steps to implement some of the recommendations in the form of technology demonstration projects in six sectors. All such demonstration projects have resulted tremendous impact on society and country's economy. In food and agriculture sector, crop production has increased by more than two times with adoption of improved technologies by farmers besides crop diversification and value addition. 
protected cultivation technology in the inaccessible hilly areas of Sikkim and Uttarakhand had fetched better income. In health sector, delivery of healthcare services to rural areas was ensured through mobile hospital van, first of its kind in India. In this mobile van, beside diagnostics facilities, consultation by expert doctors was also demonstrated. TIFAC has been playing a pivotal role in foreseeing future and preparing different reports to act on by different ministries, industry and other stakeholders. More than 300 techno market survey reports were prepared which led to three key technology mission. Technology missions in the country that is fly ash mission, advanced composites mission and sugar technology missions. TIFAC also intervened in bioprocessing and bioproduction sector, particularly identifying critical technology needs for biotransformation and enzymatic process towards development of active pharmaceutical ingredients. TIFAC has extended its strength in the innovation domain as well to facilitate commercialization. It started with hand-holding of individual innovators through TAP program transferring of laboratory level technology to pilot scale through homegrown technology that is HGT program. Recently we have also initiated one program for assessment of technology readiness level in the institutions like R&D labs, academia and also technology business incubators where we will do the technology readiness level assessments of the technologies being developed and create portfolio of the technologies to manage the R&Ds in those institutions in a right way. Automotive sector is another area where TIFAC made soft intervention in terms of formation of consortium research forum where government, industry, academia and national laboratories can work together in a coherent manner. TIFAC has been quite active in international forums. India has been a member of ISA since January 2007 with TIFAC as the Indian National Member Organization that is NMO for spearheading the collaborative India-ISA program. The collaboration with ISA has strengthened India's modeling capability in different domains. IFAC has been having an international tie-up with an institution called International Institute for Applied System Analysis. This is based in Austria. It's called YASA. And uh, under this our collaboration, we have actually come up with a very interesting model called the GAINS model. This GAINS model has been developed in partnership with our institution from India is NIRI, uh, which is Nagpur and with YASA. NIRI has collected all the primary data, the secondary data and they have actually been fed into the model which was done by YASA. Patent facilitation is another important activity of TIFAC, which not only created patent awareness among Indian scientists, it also facilitated filing patents by Indian scientists from government institutions. All technologies are described and repository, repository has been created in a patent documentation. Innovation is very, very important aspect and much required desired entity uh, to progress or accelerate the progress. Without the innovation, it is not possible. So that system of patenting uh, really may create a balance between the interest of a public at a large as well as the interest of creators of a knowledge. Women Scientist Scheme, that is WOSC, is designed to tap the potential of women with science background and train them in managing IPR for building their second career. The Mahila Vagyanik Kiran IPR program in 2002, we started with the Department of Science and Technology. Ki se. Actual training was started in 2004. And the main goal was that those who have studied high level in science, like MSc, PhD, they have also gone to that level. But in addition to that, because of their domestic problems, because of their own problems, they couldn't pursue their career. So, why would they have to take a scheme like this? Recently, when the entire world was fighting with coronavirus, TIFAC silently worked on the path for revival of Indian economy, consulted different group of experts and brought out a specific technology foresight report on focused intervention 
TIFAC did not stop here, prepared another very specific action plan document action agenda for Atma Nirbhar Bharat, that is AN. Honorable Union Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan released these documents. TIFAC is paving way to new frontiers and new vistas for an India that is set to create a benchmark for the world to follow. The Department of Science and Technology is completing 50 glorious years in the service of the nation through science and technology. This journey of relevance and excellence has not been a solitary one. All our autonomous organizations have played a critical role in driving forth with quality and focus and speed in their respective areas. They have excelled in their pursuits. I wish all the autonomous organizations and their scientists a very successful future. The future is coming at us at faster and faster speeds. I'm sure you'll be fully prepared to meet the challenges and create new opportunities and work for an Atmanirbhar Bharat that can be proud of its s depth and spread.